You know, I'm pretty proud of myself for figuring out how to do XY plots on Comfy UI. Now I'm gonna show you a basic setup so that you could try it for yourself. In order for you to set it up similar to what you see here, you'll have to install efficiency nodes. I just did a video on it not too long ago. I'll leave the link in the description below. Now, first off, why would you wanna even do this? Well, there's various reasons. This one, for example, compares five different checkpoints. You see the seeds on top here, and it really gives you a good idea of how the model reacts to your prompts, what kind of style it has. And in this case, I was testing out samplers. So there are various reasons why you would do this. If you're anything like me and you're a tinkerer and you like to experiment, XY plotting is a great way to do it. Now, taking a look at the workflow here, we have the efficient loader. This node has several things already included, which we really don't need to be honest, like your checkpoints and LoRa's, but it does have an area for your positive and negative prompts and the latent image section here. It's just easy to use for XY plotting. Then we have our XY plot nodes, which we'll go over when we build it. We have our sampler information here, our VAD code, and then I just have a couple image nodes here. The one we're gonna build right now is for XY plotting checkpoints. And then I'll show you how you can easily swap these out to do like CFG XY plotting or sampler plotting. It's really pretty simple. Now I will say this isn't the only way to build XY plots, there are various ways, all right? So to start off, let's right click, click on add node, efficiency nodes, loaders, and then select efficient loader. As I already mentioned, we don't need a lot of this stuff here, but it just puts the positive and negative prompts and the latent image section together. And this is super handy where we can just connect the nodes really easily here. Let's put this to the left for now. Next, we wanna right click once again, add node, efficiency nodes, sampling, choose case sampler efficient. And while we're here, we might as well connect the nodes. So model to model, conditioning, you wanna bring that to positive, one to negative. If you zoom in here, you see it's got a plus and minus, positive and negative, latent to latent, VAE to VAE. You wanna leave a bit of distance here. And now we're gonna put in the XY plotting. So once again, right click, add node, efficiency nodes, XY plot, then select XY plot here. You can give it a color if you like, right click. Let's select purple for this one. While I'm at it, I'm just gonna change this so that it turns green. Yours wouldn't do that. I have something else installed where it defaults to green. If you put positive in the title, we can go over that in another video. Let's just bring this guy up here a little bit. And then we're gonna connect dependencies to dependencies here and then script to script here. Under grid spacing, I'm gonna use 15. You could do whatever you want. Basically, that's the spacing between the grids. XY flip will leave it on false. The label orientation will leave it on horizontal. That's basically the text that you see on the plot. Cache models will leave on true. This you wanna leave on plot. Put it to images. You're just gonna get the individual images. Next, let's grab this X node here and just drag it out to the bottom. And then we're gonna select input seeds plus batch. Let's give that the same color. This is our batch counter, which I'll show you how it works later. And then we'll grab the Y node here, bring it down as well. And this is where we wanna select the type of X plot we wanna do. So here you see there are steps, start at step, add return. Those aren't the ones we want to do. So you can either search for it. Let's click on add node, efficiency nodes, XY plot, XY inputs. And now you're gonna see all these options. So these are the various types of XY plots you can do. CFG scale, which I'll show you later, samplers, schedulers, denoisers, whole bunch. So we're gonna select checkpoint. We'll give it a purple color. And now you see you have slots for your checkpoints. Now what's cool about this is that not only can you choose your various checkpoints, so I'm gonna choose realistic vision. Let's stretch it out a bit so we can see the names. And then under the second slot, 
I could choose Photon, for example. And then you also have Clip Skip options. So if you wanted to enter Clip Skip, you could put one or two there. You don't have to use all these slots. I just set it up this way for the testing I was doing. Now it's up to you how you want to organize this. I'm just going to leave it a bit open for you so that you can see how it connects. Now the only thing we're missing is the VAE decode. Whatever setups you decide on, you always have to have a decode before the final image. That's like the last step. So we're going to grab the VAE from here, and then just select VAE decode. Let's connect latent to samples. Now it's up to you if you want a preview image and a save image. I'm going to show you how to do both. Let's move this over. We're just going to drag this out and select a preview image. Actually, we can bring this right below here. And then from here, we're going to select save image. And you'll see why in a second. Now you can collapse these nodes as well. I'll collapse this one just for now. And I like to tuck it in the case sampler here just to keep things nice and tidy. We'll just size this about halfway. You can make it as big as you want. And then we're gonna bring the save image down here. So there you go. That's kind of the basic setup for XY plotting. Just gonna paste in a prompt here. We'll leave the dimensions at 512 by 512 since I'm using SD 1.5. I wanna test it at its native resolution. Now don't worry about the CKPT here. It's going to be ignored because we have it here. We're going to set this to a batch of five. You can do as many as you want, but basically we're going to have five different images for each checkpoint. Now for the case sampler, we want to select script. The seed will just randomize it. Steps, let's try 25. I don't know if you know, but you can just drag in this area and change the numbers. But we'll use a CFG of six. Sampler, let's go Euler Ancestral. I like using Euler Ancestral or plain old Euler. It's a good neutral sampler because a lot of these checkpoints benefit from samplers like DPM++ or the SDE variations. So for testing, I like Euler Ancestral. You could change the scheduler too, but we're not doing that today. Preview method, let's select latent to RGB and VAE decode output only. Let's uh, prompt it up and get it ready and running. The initial run might take a bit of time. As you see, it's got to load up the checkpoints. It's got to gather some information. This isn't something that's going to happen in like 30 seconds. We look at the back end running here. You see it's loaded the checkpoint at the top. Here are the five images that it's running. Then it says load new. So it's loading a new checkpoint and then it generates the next five. But then when your first initial run is done and you want to do more tests, it'll be quite a bit faster because it's not going to have to load all the checkpoints again, right? So here are the results. Yeah, the only difference between the save image is that you get the text and then the preview image is just straight up images. So if we open this up, we can now see the various differences between the checkpoints. Now let's say you wanted to do an XY plot for samplers. Well, it's actually pretty simple to do once you have this template. And by the way, don't forget to save it if you're happy with the outcome. Let's zoom in here. And what we're going to do is just click on this and hit delete. We'll grab the noodle from the Y, click on add node, efficiency nodes, XY plot, inputs, and choose samplers. So now we can choose different types of samplers. Let's say I put Euler here and DPM2 here, so on and so forth. That's all you really have to do to change this one. And for this template, it'll look something like this, where I was testing DDIM, Euler Ancestral, DPM2, DPM++, SDE, GPU. This sampler is quite nice. And UNI PC. Now, if you wanted to do XY plotting for CFG and steps, basically the same process. So we're going to delete these two now. And then we'll drag down the X here. There's already one for steps, or you can find it in add node as we normally do. So we're going to select that. And then for Y, let's drag that down. Click on add node, efficiency nodes, XY plot, inputs, CFG scale. 
I'm gonna switch over to my ready-made templates. So this particular one is kind of big. I have it at a batch count of 10. So we're gonna get 10 images. And then under steps, it starts at 10 steps. And the last is 100 steps. Now, when you do the CFG scale, your batch count number should match and you'll have to do some simple math. So in this case, because there's 10 images, I made my first CFG two and my last 20. Now this one's a bit extreme because I wanted to see how far I could push it. This one's a bit more realistic, 10 steps to 50 steps and a CFG between three to 15. In the workflow, I'd leave this at 10, put this at 50, change the batch count to five, and then I would put my starting CFG at three, and then the last CFG at 15, and that will get you the same result that you just saw. As I said before, I'm gonna leave all these templates available in the description below. You can either load the JSON files, or you could even take the PNG, drag it in there, and technically you can grab the JSON file, drag it on there and load the template that way. I hope you found this useful. And if you have a better way of doing this, I'd love to hear from you. And if you need the efficiency nodes, make sure to check out this video. Until the next one, I'll see you when I see you.